The first edition of Positively False was published in 1998. Uh, I can remember being invited to lunch at the Garrick by Iraj Baghazadi, who was the owner and chief editor, of course, of IB Taurus. And he said, you've been making all these films for Channel 4, and some of them have got awards. Why don't you write a book? So I did. I took him seriously. And I went off to the Dominican Republic and for a year I wrote the book and came back with the copy and gave it to Iraj. And I think he was quite shocked because uh, uh, it was huge. And he said, well, he said, it's all here. And so Positively False, Exposing the Myths About HIV and AIDS was published. It got very, very little publicity. Long story about the fact that it was very hard to to get an interview about it you know i was invited to be interviewed by the bbc and then i was stood down because no scientists would come on against me anyway the years went by and uh, uh, another friend called frank reese and i and iraj were having lunch one day and frank said in front of iraj why don't you give her the right to the book and she can then publish publish it again because it's out of print. And he, Iraj, very kindly said yes. So I got the rights and uh, I was also greatly encouraged by uh, Mo Aziz, who's been helping me um, with the publication of this book because it's self-published, it's on Amazon, and he edited it. It took him a year uh, to get it really edited right. And in the interim, of course, I asked a lot of people if they could write an update, uh, and they kindly did. So the book has 20 updates. So this 16th anniversary edition has 20 updates, and it includes the script of the film Positive Hell, uh, which uh, I made with Andy Reese of Yellow Productions, co-produced, and that is a half-hour documentary called Positive Help. So there you have it.